It's September 25th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. Uh, Brian, let's start with you. It's a, it's a tale of two markets. On the one hand, uh, if you look at the interest rate trends, it looks like a very boring flat market. If you look at the volume, it's a very interesting market. Uh, what's more important? Yeah, we definitely saw a pretty quiet week uh, in relation to uh, in relation to interest rates. Uh, you know, assuming today ends with tax exempts unchanged again, uh, we'll see ten out of eleven of the last trading sessions with uh, with no change to the MMD curve. So, with the exception of a one basis point move uh, in the belly of the curve on Tuesday, we really haven't seen tax exempt rates go uh, go pretty much anywhere. Uh, on the broader uh, interest rate world, uh, U.S. Treasuries traded very range bound uh, as well this week. The ten year pretty much bounced around between a 66 and 67 basis points. And out long, you had a range of about 140 to a 142 yield on the 30 year treasury. So really not a lot of action there. Um, those yields are probably just like a half a basis point or a basis point lower than those ranges uh, as, we're, as we're recording this uh, video. But, um, you know, we really saw, um, you know, some, some news and headlines earlier this week that kind of kicked that activity off. Um, stocks, uh, even with a slight rally today, will probably end the week in the red. Um, and, you know, everybody was focused on some macro headlines, uh, especially earlier in the week, like, um, you know, possible uh, another round of, uh, of lockdowns in the UK and Spain uh, because of some upticks in coronavirus. Uh, and then domestically, uh, you know, the markets were focused on uh, any progress of, a, of another round of stimulus and whether or not lawmakers would be uh, would be distracted by arguing about uh, whether or not to uh, replace um, or appoint uh, to replace uh, Justice Justice Ginsburg. Um, so, you know, things like that really kind of uh, set the tone of the market. On the interest rate side, though, one of the things that moved rates slightly lower was a very strong response to a record uh, U.S. Treasury auction week. We had $155 billion priced uh, between twos, fives, and sevens. And especially on the fives and sevens, those, those auctions garnered uh, a little bit stronger than anticipated results with um, uh, bigger, uh, bigger participation of direct bidders um, and, uh, and slightly better yields uh, than where the, uh, where the screens were printing at the time of the auction. So, um, you know, with all that said, uh, the muni market really moved sideways again this week rate-wise, but from a supply perspective, uh, we had a really busy week at over $13 billion that got priced, which was a little bit ahead of uh, what the market was expecting, around $12.5 billion or so. Uh, that supply was really diverse. Um, you know, we had a couple of big, chunky transactions, um, like O'Hare Airport, um, Yankee Stadium Bond, Texas Water, New York City Water. Um, but away from some of those, uh, it was really spread out geographically and across sectors. So uh, by and large, the market seemed to digest it mostly uh, very well, uh, so especially in the, uh, in the deals where there was some incremental yield. We had a lot of he uh, heavy oversubscription uh, in, in those and some of the high grade names uh, where yields are just absolute yields are just low. Uh, we continue to see buyers differentiate with uh, with some additional credit spreads. So some of the uh, tighter names uh, ended up, uh, you know, maybe d be being a little bit slower. And Brian, on the municipal supply front, we did see Lipper reported the 20th consecutive week of inflows to municipal bond mutual funds. Uh, their report showed just under $500 million of uh, cash flows, which is relatively low uh, for recent weeks. But uh, we've noticed in the last couple of weeks that ICI's report, which comes out a week later than the Lipper report, has shown substantially more cash flows on a weekly basis. So there may be some noise in the data right now, but uh, supply and demand for munis does seem to be steady. Uh, David, let's uh, transition over to you. Uh, on, the, uh, on the BAM side, uh, more than 40 transactions, again, reflecting that diverse market Brian talked about. What stood out? Yeah, so uh, just over $13 billion of supply. Um, so, you know, that just obviously led to kind of a busy week for us. Um, BAM insured $420 million in par. Um, like you said, Mike, a, a good diverse mix of credits and states. Um, you know, a couple noteworthy transactions that um, sold with BAM this week. One, um, a $79 million AA3 rated Pennsylvania higher ed. Um, that was in the competitive space that uh, City bought. Uh, and the other uh, noteworthy deal was the $90 million Livonia deal um, that was priced by J.P. Morgan. And uh, noteworthy that the Pennsylvania transaction had a AA3 underlying rating. So again, it shows uh, bond insurance adding value even on high-grade uh, credits in this market. 
Uh, what's on tap for next week? What, uh, what does the calendar look like? So looking forward to next week, uh, you know, there are 325 million um, in par scheduled to sell with BAM. Um, so, you know, it should lead up to another busy week. Uh, you know, just um, worth mentioning a couple deals. One is a $55 million city of Freeport, Illinois deal. Um, and that one is with R.W. Baird. And then there's a $46 million Russellville, Arkansas deal um, with Cruz. And that Russellville transaction is selling. Those are green bonds selling with the BAM Green Star verification. And Alexis Plattis from our East Regional uh, Public Finance Department recorded a BAM Credit Insights video specifically about that transaction. Uh, really interesting projects uh, with environmental benefits in that transaction. So she talks about that. Click on our uh, YouTube channel to see more. Uh, gentlemen, thanks for taking the time this week. Uh, we'll report back next week, see how those uh, transactions do and what the uh, competitive market looks like. We'll talk to you then. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption. So while America rebuilds, BAM has you covered. BAM. Build America Mutual. Talk to your investment advisor or visit buildamerica.com.